I'm Tamniel Julian Meldanine, and thank you once again for joining me. My name is Lord Aramil, and this is episode two of our Let's Build Nardu Hall. Joining me once again is my quartermaster, Naga. I'm on a horse. Naga's on a horse. All right, let's get into this. All right, so there have been a few changes over here since the last time. Uh, the first of which we'll see right here is I have constructed a very temporary uh, staircase out of dirt slabs, which are a thing that you can make in the Lord of the Rings Minecraft mod, and wool. Uh, so I'm planning to make a large uh, and hopefully very nice looking grand staircase, as it were, going up to the castle. Also, you can see uh, I've built an observation tower for us uh, because Naga doesn't have a minimap mod. Shame on Naga. Hey, man. Now, in the last episode, I mentioned how you don't want to have uh, as square of buildings while showing you basically a square building. Uh, this is more or less intentional. Uh, it isn't just me being a complete idiot. Uh, because that's why we... <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we put it down in wool. Because we can quickly remodel and see how we want to change it. So in this case, I've rounded off the edge there, and I added an entire second section on the south side. Uh, in case anybody is curious, uh, when looking at the minimap, down is south. Nice and easy. Now, I also shifted this tower out uh, two blocks, because now the if we go over here, you will see this black piece of wool is the center of the staircase, which matches this black piece of wool, which is the center of our gate, or our main entrance to the main hall. Now, today we're not going to get started on the main hall quite yet. Uh, that will be quite an undertaking, and Naga and I have not amassed a fraction of the resources that will be necessary. Uh, so today, we're going to get started on this northernmost tower, uh, this sort of pentagonal tower. And from there, uh, we will probably move on uh, to one of the other towers or the gate. I will put down in the comments section uh, several potential builds for us to consider. And the one that gets the most likes will be our next project. Uh, if you really want us to just get on with it and move into the main structure after this, uh, then that is an option. I'll cry maybe just a little bit upon reading it, but that is, uh, that's okay. <laughs> so, let's begin with this northern tower. I'm going to go grab some materials, and I will see you soon. All right, now then, you'll see that we have Arnor brick stairs, Arnor pillars, and a fair amount of Arnor bricks. This will probably get us through the first floor and maybe into the second. So how do we want to go about building this? Well, I'm putting down the bricks. Wrong, I'm starting with the pillars, ha ha. Ah. Will do once again. In case anyone's one, anyone is wondering what Naga is doing at this point. Uh, 
Of course, my loyal quartermaster would be hard at work gathering the materials for us to build our castle. All right, Nago, you want to tell them what you're actually doing? I'm plundering. Yeah. In the south. You want to join me in plundering in the south? Get on the server. <laughs> yes. Naga is all the way down in Umbar. Can you see me on the map? I, think I can. can. Yeah, so like show them. Yeah, I did. Oh. Yeah. So Naga's down in Umbar amongst the pirates, uh, just finding random treasure. It's great. You having a fun time? Oh, yeah. I'm glad you're having fun. I found so many fruit trees. Yeah? I'm bringing saplings back with me. I did notice at least one extra sapling. By almonds. Almond. Ah. We now have almonds. I'm not a huge fan of almonds in real life, but that's fine. I'm also bringing back lemons and limes and olives. Alright. Well. Uh. A fun part about the Middle-Earth mod that we won't get into much right now, uh, but should be able to get into in the future, hopefully, uh, is brewing. Specifically, a whole bunch of different alcohols. Did I, did I show off the cliff face last time? You watched the video. Oh yeah, I did. did uh, do you remember if I did? I don't think so. Okay. Well then here, I'll show it off really quick now. Uh, as you can all see, I have now taken the platform, and on most of the sides, I have placed a single block's worth of stone here as a very um, rough or, actually, I guess it's very smooth, cliff face. Yes. Uh, the idea is that, while well, this is kind of our low-res... Oh, there's a random sheep there. <laughs> well, look, there, it's, there's like... I, I accidentally placed down an extra block, <laughs> and... <laughs> um, that's unfortunate. I'm just gonna leave him there. <laughs> You're just gonna leave him? For now, I'll figure out some other thing to do with them in the future. I'll figure it out. I'm Scottish, I'm good at figuring out uses for sheep. Oh. Ew. Anyways. <sighs> oh yes, the cliff face uh, right now is very smooth, and we will go at it uh, late in the build, probably one of the last bits as a touch-up. Uh, going around that. Now. What we want to do, we will put this right there. Uh, because this entire interior will have wood flooring of some kind. I'm going to quickly take a look at the different types of wood we have and see which one I think looks the nicest. Uh, so take this nice little interim to grab yourself some lovely Dr. Pepper, sit back, relax, and I swear enjoy. we're not sponsored. Welcome back. As you can see, I've placed down this lovely chestnut floor. Uh, those who want to know, I use slabs, because using anything else is basically irresponsible, wasteful. Slabs are always helpful, especially in these kinds of builds where you're going to be using a lot of materials. Obviously, if you're in creative mode, you might not care so much, but since all of the materials that I'll be using in this build are hand-collected by myself and by Naga. 
Well, we're going to try to keep uh, within a quote-unquote budget, as it were. We want the rooms to be at least three squares high, uh, which allows for significant room. It doesn't feel too claustrophobic, um, except in certain places where we will want probably a more dense feeling. Uh, but this is not one of them. This is going to be one of our towers. Uh, you'll notice that I made this little pier right here. Uh, all that is is to show the distance between this tower and where Naga's tower will be. Now, with the first floor of this complete, we are put in the question of where we want to place the bridge to Naga's Tower. Uh, I'm thinking we will put it on the second floor, so up closer to where I am now. And let's see. Nice staircase up. Boom, boom, boom. Now, of course, staircase that's just floating like that always looks a little odd. So maybe we will change this up ever so slightly. That horn that you just heard means that and there was an invasion. I hope it's the hobbits again. Anyways. <clears throat> so, here we are, I added a nice wooden staircase, uh, using upturned uh, staircase blocks, uh, adds a nice, uh, more supported uh, feeling to a staircase, that'll uh, keep it from looking quite so out of place. Now, you can see that the way our staircase is built, it kind of constrains the exact height at which we can build the second story. So we're about two and a half blocks up. Means we'll have to work on keeping this bottom area lit and maybe keeping uh, some more vertical room than we would normally have. Uh, you'll see that I added this nice bit of decoration on the floor uh, to kind of break up the uh, solid chestnut uh, well, scenery. I also added this lovely little window here so that we can look out and watch the setting sun. Just remember all good things in Lord of the Rings come from the West. They do. I mean, you're right. And it's where the gods live, so... Voila. Now. As we're moving up, you can pretty clearly see the symbol below us. So what I'm going to do is in order to keep the bottom floor from feeling too claustrophobic because <clears throat> I have that window on that side but if we're going to have a bridge over right here there's not much point in building a window looking at the underside of a bridge and we can't quite easily build one right here because we have of course the staircase so how to fix this? Well, quite simply, we are going to keep this central area open. <clears throat> Can't take fall damage from it, so it's not a big deal. Uh, if we want a more in-universe reason for why we would keep this 
large section of floor open. Uh, it could be used defensively if we are, say, there's enemies that have broken through the gates and they're currently sieging up uh, the main hall and they're rushing over to this tower also. We can have... Where's my bow? There it is. We'll have an archer right here, probably several here, 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 uh, shooting down at the door as one or two people guard the staircase. Also, it's easy enough to assume that, say, if something needs to be transported from that large tower over there to over here, well, maybe it'd be easier to just lever it down through the hole than try to manage it down the staircase. Yeah. I also moved the crafting table a little bit closer. Uh, whenever you can, try to keep your crafting tables close to where you're building, because even the short distance from here to the doors over there feels like quite a ways after the fifth or sixth time you've decided to build a few more slabs. So, there we have it. The first floor is complete. We may, we may do something on the walls here to make them a little bit more three-dimensional. Uh, but we'll come back to that later. For now, we have the second floor to worry about. So, I'm going to pop out and build that up. And meet you back here in just a sec. I added columns, ostensibly to help support the bridge. I'm sure we'll make good use of that. Ah, <sighs> so. There is the large hole, which will play host to the doorway to the bridge. What? You look surprised, Naga. I'm gonna go show this to you. Show me what? Bone meal's great. Uh oh. I don't even care. So gravity might not be a thing in Minecraft, but that doesn't mean that we should act like it isn't a thing. Adding even very small supports to your uh, structures will make them look much better. Well, now I just need to go get some bricks. That's the other... oh, oh no, what's this nonsense? Yes, I'm, I'm aware of the powers of bone meal. Why, why are you doing this? God damn it, Naga, quit making my build space look untidy. Natural biodiversity! Come back here! <laughs> Come back here, you sh... Biodiversity! Fuck off! Can you tell me that was in the recording? Yes, yes, yes we are currently recording. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <laughs> your shit. <laughs> okay. So here we come up to this level where we will likely have a window on the east and west once again. Um, I need to fix up these stairs. Boop, boop, ba -doop. Now, an important thing to have in your builds is that you want all of your rooms to still have meaning. And that can get tricky. <laughs> because naturally, you can live out of, you know, a 3x3x3 three by three by three hut. Just 
you know, shoving as much into as tiny of a space as possible. And while it's less than decorative to do such, it does make a certain amount of sense. But we're building a massive castle, so we're not going to do that. So we're going to try and keep the idea that each, at least each floor of the tower, uh, needs to have a reason. What that reason is, we'll figure it out. Uh, hopefully by the time we build it, uh, later if we have to, but I'd rather not. So, let's get some more planks. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, now, not all of my building, or all of the many buildings, will be using chestnut wood, obviously. Uh, this is far more of a, uh, you know, for this tower, we use chestnut. For another, we might use birch, or willow, or what have you. Uh, I just liked the look of chestnut contrasting against the Arnorian brick at this very time. Uh, I might change my mind at some point in the future and decide, you know what looks better? Oak. And then we'll just use oak for a build or two. And that's honestly one of the best parts about being one of these creators, is you do you. So, history time. Uh, because I did say that I'd be talking about history. And because of course you will. Because of course I will. Do we want to leave that hole? What kind of damage do I take? This is a very scientific... Oh, we're even off center if we did leave it. Uh, but yeah, so scientific process here. That's two hearts of damage. I don't want to just leave that there. Okay. <clears throat> So, in case you ever feel like you're not good enough, I'm going to share a quick story about a little-known political figure from long ago uh, named Julius Caesar. Now, some of you might have heard of Julius Caesar. Uh, he, he's recently well-known in certain circles. So I quickly look through my many pouches for some food uh, because now I'm wounded and should probably eat. Uh -huh. Now, Julius Caesar uh, started out his political career, or even his life it seems, uh, as a bit of a diva. Uh, when he was young, he was captured by pirates. This is one of my favorite stories about him. Uh, and they told him how much silver they were going to ransom him for. This was a mistake, <laughs> as he became enraged that they only asked for that much silver, and not twice that amount of silver, which he argued he was worth. The pirates, uh, perhaps understandably confused, agreed with him, and then uh, sent a new ransom note for more silver. Now, they did get this silver. That's, the, uh, that's even better, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they got that silver. However, uh, Caesar then took it upon himself to go out and deal with these bandits personally. Uh, so he led a brief campaign out and utterly stomped those bandits. Now, uh, now that we've gotten a good judge of his character, <laughs> I want you to imagine Julius Caesar, uh, the person who almost everybody has heard about. He once stopped at, I think it was the tomb or a shrine to Alexander the Great. And upon uh, looking at it, uh, inspecting it, whatever, it said that 
Caesar broke down in tears. And the people with him uh, were perhaps very confused because he was a reasonably successful military tactician, uh, politician, etc. Like, Caesar, what's wrong? At half my age, this man had conquered half the world. What have I done? So if you're ever feeling like you haven't accomplished much with your life, just know that even Julius Caesar himself felt like that some days. So there's a little bit of a happy good feeling tidbit for you. That's not a happy good feeling. Yeah. It just makes me feel bad for him. Don't feel too bad for Julius Caesar. <laughs> As you can see, I'm kind of squaring off our tower a bit here up as we have reached this next level. Uh, and I told you that each level should have meaning. So, what's the meaning for this one? Well, this is the level that I think will be the minimum uh, for our curtain wall. So, we are at 83. Uh, compare to the 75, which really doesn't sound all that impressive until you actually look at it. So that's going to be pretty tall walls all the way around. Now the walls, we, oh, hmm, let's see. Yes, so they'll connect over here on this section, because we should have a similar section, yep, right here, voila. And they'll go around, uh, from this tower, it will go over and connect to this outcropping here, which will be a small tower on the main hall itself. And from over here, of course, it will snake over, I knew you would chuckle at that, <laughs> and connect over to the gatehouse. Yeah. This wall is too flat. So, oops, I jumped right past it. We are going to extend outwards just a wee bit. This. Uh, we're gonna go over one. Alright. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Hmm, no. We're just gonna keep it. One out. I'm gonna pick that up in a minute. Okay. Two, one, two. Now, I do suggest that you plan out your builds to some extent uh, before you start. Oh, wow, that just looks cool. Uh, if you plan out your builds ahead of time, then you will be in a much better place to complete them and add on or subtract as necessary. It's not strictly necessary, of course, but it's wise decision. Oh, oh. Eh, eh. Now, definitely by this height of the build is where we start using uh, the elven blocks. Because, as you'll remember, uh, while this was originally an Arnorian fortress, uh, not only did the Arnorians have good relations with the High Elves of the nearby area, uh, but this fortress was abandoned for a long time. 
And while Nardu is not strictly an elven uh, organization, hey. there's a lot of elves in it. Uh, like yours truly. Uh, high elven blocks will be used in the higher le elevations. That's going to bother me. So now it's kind of a uh, be on how to properly mesh them. We could definitely at this point cap off this and call it good. Uh, this is definitely already a pretty tall structure as far as, well, especially as far as what we've already built goes, as it is, you know, more than a story tall. But I feel like there's more to this building. Because one of the things that I did in uh, the previous Nardu Hall, and what I'd like to do again, is divvy up some of the areas for active members of Nardu. So, if you will imagine, uh, this band of a couple dozen mercenaries moving into a tower, well, into a castle, uh, what are they going to do? Well, one of the first things that they're going to do is, during the exploration, calling dibs on different rooms. Just like what Naga did as soon as I mentioned that there was going to be a large tower out in the water. So they're going to explore a bit, and one of them's going to wander up and say, Ooh, I like this area. It's mine. Now, we won't be furnishing it quite yet. That's probably a full episode in and of itself, to be honest. Furnishings can get lengthy. Best. Ooh, do I like that? There we go. Much better. Boom, 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 boom. All right. And I think we're going to do the same on the other side. I don't think I have quite enough wood stairs, but we will make it work for the moment. Boom, 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 boom. All right, and you can go right there. All right, cool. I am going to need so many more planks. So, today we started our first real part of the build, creating our northern tower. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, this, our second episode. Thank you, Naga, for joining me. You know what they say, when in doubt, ride a zebra. I have to go down to Parad now and get in on this really interesting rodeo. So, I will see you all next time. Farewell.